In this video, I'm gonna take you through exactly how you can become a better entrepreneur. And you wanna stay tuned to the end because I'm gonna give you my three-step formula in terms of how I've used that to scale a business in terms of my decision-making process. And why should you listen to me? My name is Charlie Johnson. I'm currently in Miami, normally live in Dubai. I run two multi-seven-figure businesses, one's originally in the fitness space, and now one is helping other businesses scale and achieve what I have done. Bear in mind that four and a half years ago, I left my full-time job as a real estate agent, estate agent. Now to get into things. If you want to become a better entrepreneur, what do you need to focus on? And it's this. Here's a frame of mind I think about a lot. And the reality is, rich people don't work, they think. So you need to actually use your brain. And you as an entrepreneur, you shouldn't be a busy fool spinning around doing all the plates. You need to actually use your brain to think about strategically what's the next thing you should do. What's the problem you need to solve? What's the one big lever you pull that's gonna make the big difference, that's gonna remove the point of constraint that's currently holding your business back. Now, if you're in a position in your business right now where you're working all the time, you're working really, really hard, and you've been doing this for the last six to 12 months, and your income level is like this, do you know what that means? You're working on the wrong things. So the best thing you can do after this video is sit down, pen and paper, and write, what is the number one problem my business faces? Question mark and then write down every solution to that problem. So if it's lead generation, how can you generate more high quality leads? If it's your average sale price is too low, how can you get a higher sales price? Work out what the main problem you have is and then focus on the solution for that. And if you don't know how to do that, that's one of the best things in terms of having a mentor or a business coach, which is also what we do in Seven Figure Scaling Systems, our own mastermind. If you're interested in that, you can hit the link below the video and you can book in a free call. If not, stay tuned to a load of other content which will also help you. Now, one of the big mistakes that a lot of people make as entrepreneurs, the two things you should be doing, one is resting, Two, it's making your decisions. So I've actually just come back from spending the last two days at Key West driving around Florida, and I spent a lot of the time in the car driving and thinking and coming up with ideas. And that's the best thing you need to be doing as an entrepreneur, is thinking about what you're actually doing. And if you're a busy fool and you're stuck in the business, you can't see the wood through the trees, which means your ability to take a bird's eye view and make strategic like decisions on the battlefield of business is gonna become blurred. So one of the best things you can actually do is take yourself out of the business a bit and it's gonna give you time, space, to have that mental clarity. And if you're watching this and you find that, like I do, I often get my best ideas while I'm in the shower, why is that? Because your mind is clear. When your mind is clear, it lets, like, allows space for information to come in. And this is one of the reasons why I talk a lot about um, personal productivity is so important and you controlling your focus and controlling the information that comes into your brain, which is why I recommend using the app Opal to for at least the first start of the day, don't look at your phone. So no social media, no WhatsApp, no Instagram, no Facebook, no email, no YouTube, because you want your thoughts to be your own conscious control thoughts. And I mentioned earlier in this video in terms of you work out what the number one problem is, what the number one solution is for your business to grow, what do you think you should do first thing in the morning? work on that number one solution. And when you work on that number one solution, you remove the point of constraint and you then achieve business growth. And what will happen next, which is completely normal and is a good sign of growth, you'll get a new point of constraint. And then what do you do? You repeat the process. Now, the frameworks in terms of how I make decisions and the way I look in terms of priority are these three things when it comes to growing a business. Now, number one is branding. So getting your name out there. An important thing to think about is this. It's not the best product that wins, it's the best known. So if you're the first name in your industry in terms of fitness coaching, do you reckon you're gonna have the most clients? Probably. If you're the first known in business coaching, do you think you're gonna have the most clients? Yes. If you're the best known in terms of, I don't know, hamburgers for example, McDonald's, first one comes to mind, do you think you're probably gonna be the business, biggest and the busiest? Yes. So best known always wins, which is why branding in my opinion, it's the most important thing people need to get right. Now, what does branding mean? That's an, an element of your reputation and your personal brand and the compound effect of that for a period of time. So even, for example, running ads which maybe have huge scale but aren't that profitable, that has a huge upside other than money, branding. If, for example, you're watching this YouTube video and you've seen one of my ads before and you haven't bought anything from me, guess what? That has a value to me because it's branding. 
I'm in front of you all the time. And if you are one of those people, I'd be interested to see which ad you saw, so drop a comment below. The second big thing you need to think about, and this is huge, and a framework I think about, um, and I talk about myself as well, is I'm inherently actually quite lazy, is you want to find a lazy person to do a job. Why? Because I find it an efficient way to get from A to B. So what am I going to talk about now is the second most important thing when it comes to making decisions is leverage. So when I'm deciding if I'm going to implement something in business, these are things. Branding, how big of an effect on branding does it have in terms of strategy we're going to implement. Secondly is the leverage this thing gives us. So for example, I am currently doing a YouTube video every single day. We have a YouTube video we are filming right now at, that you're watching. This is producing huge amounts of leverage because it's not an Instagram story I'm going to do for 30 seconds that is only going to be watched for 24 hours. You'll be watching this video in three, five years times, 10 years time, 50 years time when I'm dead. And that's a huge amount of leverage because what does it do? It has a compound effect. So that's an example of it in a content perspective. A second um, example of this is actually with building teams because while building teams, what happens? I currently have two sales teams who are selling for me right now while I film this video. So one who sells my fitness products, one that sells my B2B products for our seven big scaling systems. That's giving me leverage. I've duplicated myself into other people to like sell my services. And what does that allow me to do? Create more leverage by doing another high leverage task like I am right now, filming on YouTube. And when you stack high leverage tasks together, and high leverage projects, that gives you a multiplier effect. And the third example of this I'm gonna give you right now is using paid advertising. Now, why paid advertising works so well is because you can turn the dial up in terms of how much traffic you get. And we do this a lot and we run a lot of ads on Instagram and Facebook. I've spent over a million dollars on Facebook ads personally myself. And as I said earlier in this video, you've probably seen one of my ads, and I make a joke with anyone, if you click on my Instagram or Facebook profile, I will haunt you around the internet like whenever you go on it, and it's true. And the reason I'm doing that is I'm creating omnipresence, but I'm also creating huge leverage. And leverage is one of the biggest things that allows you to scale, and it also synergistically supports the number one other thing we talk about in terms of creating um, like decisions in terms of what strategy you're gonna implement in branding. Branding and strategy support each other. Now the third uh, key component I think of when it comes to actually making decisions is how hard is this thing to implement? How difficult is this strategy? And when you put these three things together, branding, leverage, and how hard something is to implement, like the level of difficulty, these are the three criteria I look at when it comes to making decisions that allowed me to be better an entrepreneur. Because what you wanna do is this. You wanna identify the point of constraint you want to identify the solution or potential solutions to point of constraint. I then apply this three-step process of what branding effect does this have, what leverage does this have, how hard does this execute, and decide if this is the best thing I should do. And ideally what we want is to use the easy to execute things first that have high leverage and have great branding, and then work our way up. You don't want to start with the most complicated strategy out the gate because it's going to be very difficult to execute and it'll get you bogged down in the weeds. So the best advice I can give you right now, if you want success in your business, and this is exactly what we teach in Subject Scaling Systems, is to get momentum, to get the flywheel effect. And this is why I say to clients when they first sign the first like client paying 3K, it's not about the money. It's about the self-belief. When you actually see someone's paid you $3,000 or 3,000 pounds for a coaching program, you're like, holy shit, I can do this. And that's why you need momentum, you need the flywheel effect. And if you're trying to implement something that's a very complicated strategy, that takes a long time to execute. Whereas we have a lot of things that are very easy to implement. Um, and we have some free examples that are below this video in our 4C course, so check those out. In particular, the honey trap story method. They will help you blow up your business very quickly. It just comes down to this and understanding this framework. Strategy is in the top three words used on LinkedIn. Not in the top thousandth is implementation. So what you should do after this video is take the framework I've given you, go and implement it and your business will grow. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button, drop below any questions you have in the comment section, make sure you subscribe, because we're pushing out videos like this every single day. And if you know someone who takes some value from this, share it with a friend. And if you want help scaling your own business, our ears are always open in terms of how we can help. There's a link below in terms of how we can help you with that. And I'll see you in the next video.